Hello everyone and welcome back to this next lecture. So in this lecture I'm going to get started with downloading and installing Code Composer Studio. So for this let's just go to the Texas Instruments website and just like before I'm going to just search for F28069 which is the microcontroller kit we want to use. And let's go back to the same link which we checked out in the previous section. And here, let's go all the way down. And here you will see along, we had actually checked out these two kits that is the launch XL F28069 and the TMDS doc. Now, you will see here there is another header. We were in hardware development which is where they listed the kits. Now let's go to software development. So go all the way down and look for CC Studio. Now again, they are releasing many, many different types of software, right? And honestly, I have not tried all of them. For example, there is Control Suite, there is TI Developer Zone, there, is, there are a lot of things and honestly, newer and newer things keep coming all the time. Feel free to check them out. In this course, I'm just going to pick one or two and just go with it, right? Because the idea is to teach you how to program rather than just go through all the different applications. So check out CC Studio. Now there are two versions of CC Studio. One is the regular CC Studio and the other one is CC Studio Thea. This Thea, it's the difference is CC Studio is based on Eclipse, which is another integrated development environment, whereas Thea is not based on it and therefore is apparently lighter. However, I will go with this CC Studio, which is something which I've been using in the past many, many times and therefore this is something I'm fairly comfortable with. I think this should be still available for quite a while. So let's go to download options and here you can just pick out any one of these, right? So for example, you can say there is the Windows single file offline installer. So you can just go and click on this, right? So I will click on this and the download should start. The download is fairly long. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. So the download is complete and I can go to my downloads page and you will see that this zip file has been installed. It's a pretty long, huge file, almost 1.2 GB. So let me extract it. And I will go into the directory. There's another one and you can see there should be a file CCS setup 120 12.7. So we are at version 12.7. Version now as I already said, if you are using the experimenter kit, you would receive a CD, right? A CD with Code Composer Studio. Now this Code Composer Studio version is usually an older version. And if it is much older than 12.7, 12 my suggestion is go to the Texas Instrument website and download the latest version rather than using what is in the seed. So I'm going to click on this file, CCS setup 12.7, to get started with the installation. And this is just Windows Defender saying, do I want to continue? Yes, I do. So make sure that your Windows permissions are not too stringent and that you do allow Windows to install software which are not Microsoft. Sometimes Windows has very stringent security features so anything that is not Microsoft will not be installed or known to Microsoft will not be installed and then in that case it might actually block this installation completely. So just make sure you adjust your settings accordingly. I haven't made any changes to my settings since I bought this laptop. So by default, I'm using the defaults Windows Defender settings. With that, this is working. So you have to accept the agreement. And these are all okay. This is usually a message which I keep getting. That is one is that there is an antivirus running and you should turn it off. I don't usually bother with this. Antivirus is necessary and I wouldn't run my computer, especially a Windows machine without antivirus. So I'm not going to disable any antivirus for this installation. 
and this is always there it is always saying there is a pending reboot and even if you reboot and come back it will still give the same message so my guess is just go ahead so now it will tell you where it's going to install it right you can change this if you want to put it somewhere else in my case i'm going to leave it at in my c drive right if you want to put it somewhere else for example if your c drive is too full or if you want to install it in another partition where you have full permissions by all means do so make sure that wherever you install it there is at least 10 to 15 gb of space because we will be not only installing code composer studio but we'll also be installing c2000 where and it is recommended that you keep these two close to each other so i'm just going to click on next now my suggestion is go for a custom installation because the default installation is huge and I mean huge right this would take like 20 minutes or so and it will install a lot of packages which you don't really need so my guess is the custom installation is usually okay right now here there will be a list of microcontrollers which are supported right in our case the only thing we need is the C2000 real-time MCUs this is the only thing we need because the TMS 320F2000-28069 is a C2000 microcontroller. So you must, ins you must select this. The others are completely up to you, right? If you have any of these, if you're working in a laboratory or in a company and any of these are there, go ahead and select any one of these. No problem. Now, which are the debug probes you want installed? Right now, what happens is when you have a microcontroller kit, it has to be able to communicate with your host computer. Now, the Spectrum Digital Debug Ports probes are what are provided in the microcontroller kit out of the box. If you have any other, like you have a special emulator or you have a special debug debugger, then you can go ahead and select this. Right? In my case, I am not using anything because like I said, this course is selecting the minimal amount of components. But if you have any of these, go ahead and select and install them. So this is just a warning which says that some, some debug probes and some microcontroller kits are not supported. The F28069 is not here. So we have nothing to worry. So we are now ready. Now this is going to be a very long installation so I'm going to again it will install I don't think there's anything to be done so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it is done. So the installation is complete and after the installation it is recommended that you do a complete reboot. The reason is Code Composer Studio will not only install the application but will also install drivers. Drivers for many of the kits, drivers for many other firmware and a lot of other things these things in order for them to work correctly it is important that you do a restart so that they get loaded back into the operating system at startup so therefore don't immediately start using code composer studio but rather do a complete restart after the installation completes so now if you go to our startup menu and i type code composer studio you'll see that this application shows up so i can start it up so now I won't go into the details yet. I just want to make sure it works. The only tip I have is that as I said, and here of course, when we start it, it will ask for a workspace. Now this workspace is merely a place where it stores projects, right? So every time we start a new example or a new project, we will create a new project, right? The project is a collection of files and I will talk about that very soon. So this is perfectly okay. You can choose any location you want on your hard disk. It doesn't matter. It will just store the files there. So in my case, I'm going to say yes, and I'm just going to launch it so that it takes that as a default location for all files. And this is how it should look when we first start up. If you got this far, everything went well, all right? If you faced any errors, anything else or you're trying to do something different like you're trying to install it in another directory and you faced any issues please post in the Q&A forum and I'll be happy to help you out. The only tip I say is 
whatever you do, always try to download the latest version of Code Composer Studio from the Texas Instruments website the way I did. Right? Do not use a Code Composer Studio version that comes with your CD or use a very outdated version of Code Composer Studio because Code Composer Studio is regularly updated and the newer version usually contains features, security updates and various other things. Right? So it's always a better idea to install the latest version when you start working. So with this I'm going to complete this lecture. Again if you have any doubts post in the Q&A forum and I'll be happy to help you out. Otherwise in the next lecture I'm going to get started with the installation of C2000 Wear. Thank you so much for listening and see you soon. Goodbye for now.